Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to take a look at another Transformers Legacy for you guys. And this time I have one of these Stunticons that I finally have been waiting to get it. And I've been finally found it. So today I'm going to take a look at this right here. The Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Dead End. Now before we continue, I need you guys to do me a little bit of quick favor, so I'll be right back. Before this video starts, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to my gaming channel, go to my Instagram to buy something on my Steam, and enjoy the video. Make sure to follow me every social media I have, link in the description down below, and become my Patreon supporter, link in the description down below. So I got this at Walmart by uh, Rowlet, and I was lucky enough to get it. Unfortunately, they don't have Breakdown or route Wild Rider. I still need to find those, and I still need to get Modern Master to complete the the Minotaur Combiner. So yes. So here's the front of the packaging, what it's going to look like. Here's the side of the packaging showing off Dead End's artwork right here, which is pretty nice. And here's the side of the packaging showing off all of the Legacy Decepticons right here. Here's the back of the packaging, transform into 15 step, and he's the third figure. And if you want to scan the QR code, you can see all the stats right here. And that pretty much that's it. So yeah, enough of that. Let's get on with the review. Now Dead End comes with two accessories, two of his blasters, cast in black, and the barrels and the scope is painted in this nice metallic -y purple right here, which is awesome and pretty nice. I love what they did. And there's no way to combine them, so yeah. Anyways. Let's get so on with the review. So here is Dead End in his vehicle mode. His vehicle mode is representing, I think, a Porsche. I could be wrong, but someone can leave the comment down below. Now, the classic car scheme of Dead End is maroon with hints of silver and gold on him. Pretty nice what they did to it. The paint and sculpt to the detail of this figure looks pretty good. And I love what they give him a lot of detailing on this figure because it looks pretty badass. And plus, Dead End is one of my favorite characters, mostly because of the reverence of the fallen Dead End. So right off the bat, all the robot junks is, is under here, so that's actually pretty cool. Back here, a lot of people have some reports of it, this thing doesn't want to, you know, fit in or having some issues, you know, uh, you know, having it straight. Well, I just figured it out because my copy has a little bit of the same issue, but if I force it a bit down, the little two grooves can go in right here that you can see going perfectly good and the little hook from right back here is nice it is a little bit of you know okay never mind it's, it's the same never mind and i did have some little bit of issue with this one because mostly this part here to remove it was hard to do so i did send it down and splitting it right here which i am showing off at the moment is had some issues you know splitting it in half because it's very really hard to do it so i did send it down so yeah it he does roll pretty well want to mention one thing the front the left side spin freely not on the right side, but on the right side on the back is good. I don't know why the right side on the front is doesn't spin freely, but yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, it, it sucks. Weapon source, by the way, is pretty simple and easy. There's two peg holes right here that you can plug it in. And there you go. He does miss some a lot of paint, mostly in the front and the back of it right here in the vehicle mode. But in the rubber mode, he has also some a missing some a little bit of paint to it, if you ask me. So yeah, and you can see the everything. You have to do the con logo right down here. So yeah, and there's a button right there, which I will showing off right about now. So if you guys have the Minnesota Combiner, which I don't, you can plug it into the uh, the left side of the arm and it will split it. But I don't have it. So if you don't have it, there's a button right here. That you can push it in doesn't matter i have a screwdriver with me and you want to do it make sure to split it in half which easier said than done because my copy is hard to do it but like i said i did modify it a little bit to send it down so it can split i might have to remove the gun for it for this because it is a bit of a clusterfuck right here and yeah the other issue is this part right here love to split and i have no cool eye Come on, I know I did it right. Look at me, I could try to do it up. There you go. I did send it out this side and this side right here, but I have no clue why I keep doing that. 
But yeah, you can split it like that, and this will become the left arm components for the robot for the combination. So yeah. Now let's actually get on with the transformation. So yeah, let's put him together and let's begin. Now to transform dead into his own mode, uh, first thing to do is remove this out of the way. Next by is untapping these. These will unhook by itself, but yeah, go by to the bottom and make sure you flip this down. Like I said, my, my copy is hard to take it out, so I did send it there, there, over here. I mean, one here, here, the back of it right here, so you guys can see. I did send it down. Now, bring... Now, bringing the legs out is giant pain to do it. There we go. Oops, shit. I didn't connect it all the way. There we go. Now, bring this out. It's on a hinge, and there's... Two pegs right here, and this peg right will connect to here, and the other, and this one, well, this one right here will connect to here. So make sure to align it up. Now bring this down. The spoiler would become the robot feet right here, which is awesome in engineering. Then split the legs in half. Very, very careful. Well, I did much better to go like this than you do it on tab it because if you Force it like that, this hook piece will probably break, so yeah. So that's finished. Now come by to the front of the car. Untap that. Unpick that, sorry. And you can see there's two tab pieces right here. And you can barely see the slot right there. Yeah, there's two slots right here that connect it in. But anyways, you want to bring that down. And you want to connect it back here with these two slots right there on the top of the car and I bring this back a little bit then you want to bring the arms out untap that bring it in but oh, wait you're not finished yet you want to bring the whole piece right here because this part will connect it here and this part will connect it to here so you will have it like this Bring the backpack. There's two tabs right here. We'll connect it in here. Bring the tire up like that. And bring this piece up like that. Do the same thing on the other side. And straighten out the figure. And there you have Deluxe Class Dead End and his robot mode. Robot mode looks amazing and it's pretty beautiful. Compared to Wild Rider and Breakdown, would they have a coster fuck of a backpack? This one doesn't have any issues of articulation because of the backpack well there's a robot cable on the both side of the arms but yeah but anyways the painting is completely detailed on that end it looks pretty good now you can have like a little bit more more of the black and this silverish grayish color right here that you guys can see looks pretty amazing head scope looks amazing also pretty nice but i am going to add some more paint to it so yes and like i said the decepticon logo is right down here so that's actually pretty awesome one thing a lot of people don't like about it is this area right here on the feet. It's mostly, mostly it's like, it's like, um, not like going in or something or not like folding out all the way. Like, like that. I don't have any issue with my copy, like I said, but like I said, I don't mind. Unpegging this part right here was hard because of this peg right here. And splitting this, I had to send it down, so yeah. Articulation wise, head is on the sole, so it does go 360 degrees. You cannot go up and down, or or you can pivot the head. Arms can go 360 degrees because it's on a swivel. Arms can go in and out, swivel at the bites. The forearms, a perfect 90, almost like a 90 degree bend right here that you guys can see. I don't know why the camera is blurring it. No wrist articulation, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. His whole body can go 360 degrees, which is pretty cool. Legs can go forward that far because of the, the design of it right here. No, wait, they can go forward that far, there we go. It could go not that much backwards because of the these parts can get in the way. Let's go in and out, swivel at the biceps on a mushroom peg. Over 90, somewhat over 90, somewhat like a 90 degree bend right here. Feet can go up and down like that, but that due to the transformation. But you do have an ankle pivot, so you do get some decent possibility of it, which is actually pretty nice. He doesn't have any weapon storage on the robot mode, unfortunately. I guess he could use this as weapon storage, but nah. This is the combiner, this is the combiner port right here. Well, yeah, and plug it in to the 
weapons on dead end is pretty easy, simple. Just plug it in like that. And there you go. Articulation wise, it's smooth and perfectly. No looseness, no tightness. And yeah, that pretty much just it. So yeah. Alright, I'm gonna give it a final post and give you guys my final results and I'll be right back. Overall, Legacy Dead End is one of my favorite figures and plus one of my favorite characters on the Transformer history. But if I want a question for you guys, who is your favorite dead end of any version? Doesn't matter it's the Revenge of the Fallen, the Cyberverse, the Well, I guess the animated version, but the toy version of him. It doesn't matter if it's going to be in the, in the cartoon, the comics, or the toys. Just leave a comment down below. I'm very excited to have this in my collection because you know how the scalper price are these days. And you know how much that it costs right now on Amazon. I don't know if they still have it. Probably not. But yeah. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to end this right here. So have fun, stay safe, and I'm always, I'm out. Change the world. My final message. Goodbye.